um, and we'll, we'll feed uh, questions to you in there. So with that being said, um, it's Mickey Duncan. And Mickey, tell us what market you're in. I am in the um, Middle Tennessee area. I, um, I live about 20 miles north of downtown Nashville. Okay. So for all your uh, Nashville area referrals, I'm sure Mickey would be open to uh, helping your clients out, right? Absolutely. <laughs> so let's start off with uh, just a little brief background, like who is Mickey Duncan? How'd you get here? So um, I grew up in East Tennessee. And I was doing um, some paperwork for a construction company. And I was noticing all those big commission checks going out. <laughs> so um, I was like, hey, I want a little bit of that. I was in the, uh, <laughs> I mean, honestly, it honestly, was. I love it right away, right yeah. out of the gate. Pay me. People ask me, why did you get in real estate? And I'm like, I wanted to get paid. I got in it for the money. You know, then I just sort of grew to love it and uh, became really passionate about it. But um, I did real estate for part-time for about six and a half years because um, I was in the um, medical profession and then uh, about eight years ago I went into it full-time so and that's just all I do I eat sleep and breathe real estate I love it all right well first of all kudos to you uh, somebody who opens an interview with pure honesty um, <laughs> and obviously you're still in the business so I'm assuming uh, not only eat sleep drink and breathe it uh, is this something you enjoy and something you get paid yeah. well at Right? That's right. Absolutely. Excellent. So how long have you been with EXP now? Uh, about two and a half years. Okay. So yeah. on the, on the real estate, you know, the sales side for how long? Um, so I've been a realtor, licensed realtor for about 14 years. Um, I was with Exit Realty um, here in uh, Nashville. And so when EXP came to the Nashville area, they, I was one of the first people that they prospected and I turned them down. Um, Cause I was like, no, I'm happy where I'm at. And I didn't want anything to do with it. So when I said no, they went after my husband, <laughs> who was a realtor as well. <laughs> and um, he brought his license out of retirement and uh, joined EXP and it took me about six months. And I tried to pick it apart. I tried to find the loophole. Um, I'm like, no, it's a, yeah. It's a fly by night real estate company and I don't want anything, you know, to do with that. And uh, the company I was with was my family and I'm like, I am not leaving. But I mean, honestly, you know, at the end of the day, it is about the money and it is about getting paid. So when I seen what EXP had to offer, I was like, okay, I'm all in. So um, it's been about two and a half years. It's actually the best decision I ever made in my real estate career. That is outstanding. And, you know, I, I always find it amusing for myself personally that um, people get up and go to work and they try to make it this very nostalgic thing of why they do it. Look, if you didn't need the money, you wouldn't be doing yeah, it. Right? That's right. But you that's might right. as well make as much of it as you can yeah. so you can enjoy life as much as you possibly can and start yeah. enjoying the benefits of having additional money. Speaking of that, I don't know if you've been paying attention to the EXP stock. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> this yes, morning, that's I'm awesome. like, yeah. I'm so kidding. thrilled that all the shares that I was able to get at $7 a share. Yeah. <laughs> so, very, very happy. So Absolutely. It's when, the, when the money you just put aside all of a sudden doubles, right? And I, right. I love that because we don't have retirement. You know, realtors, we, you know, we spend our money. We get paid. We spend our money. So it's just the way we do it. Um, so to be able to look into our back office and see what our stock is doing for our retirement, I mean, it is like a breath of fresh air to know that we have that, you know? So yes, I love it. And for me, the best part is we don't have to do anything extra to get it. I know. <laughs> doing business, so. I know, All right. right? So let's talk about your business. Um, you okay. obviously to be as successful as you are. Um, you must have some little... Uh, tricks of the trade, if you would. So what is it that you do that either A, sets you apart or you feel that your clients really appreciate and enjoy and, and brings you business? Yeah. So um, we are really big um, Facebook advocates. We're on Facebook every day 
Um, we do something real estate related every single day. So um, I think just really loving on our clients who um, always send us referrals. We, um, we do no outside advertising. I mean, it is literally, we're about 99% referral based because of that. So um, we always answer our phone. I mean, we, one time I was out with some, some clients and we're at this little pub and um, the guy said, well, how did you choose these two to be your realtor? They were um, coming in from Chicago and they're like, why did you choose these two when you had never met them? And he said, she's the only one that answered her phone. He said, I called eight agents and she was the only one to answer her phone. So not only were they our clients and we got them to Tennessee, they're now some of our best friends. So um, we do, we just answer our phone. We answer our emails. If somebody leaves us a what? message. I know, right? Can you believe we run a business? It's like such an out of the box thinker. <laughs> it's like answer your phone. That's all you have to do. And you know, and if it's somebody that, you know, I mean, we get a lot of calls that are not clients and I just cut them off. I'm like, I am so sorry. Thanks for calling, but we're just not interested. Click. You know, but we still answer our call when it is an unknown number on our phone. So, but really Facebook has been our biggest thing. Um, it's free. We, uh, we post something, we have a, a personal page and a real estate page, but I post something on that every single day and something on Instagram every single day. That is just to keep us in the forefront. You know, and I, I even told an agent yesterday, it's like, it's not that I'm any better than you. I would just outwork you because I am going to answer my phone and I am going to follow through. It's, I mean, it's where it's at. Uh, the fortune is in the follow through. So uh, don't be afraid to answer your phone. If it is a telemarketer, you just have to nip it and say, hey, thank you. You know, I'd hate to have your job, but no, <laughs> you know, thank you, but I'm just not interested and just move on. Don't miss that phone call. So I want to I want to dig a little deeper on on a couple of things that you said. One of them uh, you've said posted daily. So you know, like we all have a different uh, vision of what that likely would mean. Um, yeah. What do you see as like the things that make you successful? Are you are you doing some little personal cutesy stuff and then some? Hey, here's some homes we sold, or you know, what what does that look like? Yep. So. Um, I always post my closings. Um, I will post, um, you know, sometimes people want their face on uh, Facebook and some of them don't, but um, I always post our closings. I always tag where that home is located. Okay, so like um, had a closing uh, this morning in Gallatin. So I posted, you know, a picture of the house and closed, you know, welcome Betty to Tennessee. And then I tagged, at Gallatin, Tennessee, so that people's like, oh, Nikki sells in Gallatin, or, you know, I've got a listing that's an hour from here, and when we closed it, I tagged it, you know, and said, hey, you know, congratulations, and tagged myself in Spring Hill, so people know that we're not just in the Nashville area, um, so I always post my closings. Now, I don't have one every day, so when I'm looking for stuff to post, I will go on, um, Y'all probably have heard it. There's a site called um, the Lighter Side of Real Estate. Yeah. Um, it's a great site. So if you're looking for something to post, um, I'll just go on there and just, you know, screenshot one of their memes or I'll just, um, you know, share it on my page. Um, I do try to keep my business Facebook page and my personal Facebook page. I do try to keep those separate. Um, every now and again, I will post something personal on my Facebook page just to let people know, oh, you know, this is the fun, energetic Mickey or, uh, you know, my husband and I like to travel. So we'll take a picture of us on vacation and put it on um, our Facebook page because I have a little over 4,000 friends, not that I know all of them, but on my personal page, it's networking. Yep. <laughs> um, so I have like 4,000 friends on my personal page, but I only have a little over 2,000 people on my real estate page. So not all of those people are seeing that stuff. So then periodically I will put um, a real estate post 
on my first, you know, personal page because I want them to be like, oh yeah, you know, my friend Nikki that lives in Nashville is a realtor or, you know, most everybody knows that we're a realtor. But um, so I try to flip flop every now and then, but I post every day. And when I post on uh, Instagram, um, you know, you got a hashtag. You have to hashtag on Instagram, not necessarily on Facebook, but um, on Instagram, I will, like I sold a horse farm. So I'm po hashtagging everything I can about farms and land and horses and putting the county that it's in so that when these people start to Google horse or land or farms or whatever, then my listing is going to pop up and they're going to click on it and they're going to see it says Duncan Realtors and they're going to call us. So don't just post, don't just post a photo. You have to tell a story, you know, that what happened there. Cause not, you know, everybody wants to just see your pictures. They want to see the story that goes with the picture. I think a lot of the reasons that people are going to social media is for some form of a connection, right? Absolutely. Um, or, I mean, obviously they go on there to waste time or do whatever else, but while they're on there, the things that they connect with will get their attention. Right. Um, and so I, I get what you're saying about telling the story and yes. I love it. I like the balance of what you're sharing and how you're separating your worlds. So you made a comment earlier on we, 99% of our business comes you know, to us, you're not spending any money on advertising. But you made one statement, we're loving on our clients. That's what I heard. Yeah. So what, what does that mean? What does that look like? So um, we're always uh, very thankful for our clients and we let them know that. We will acknowledge them. Uh, people love acknowledgement. So when someone refers us a client, um, you know, I'll go on my page and say, you know, hey, thank you, Don, for referring me, you know, this buy. I usually don't put the buyer's name on there, but I will recognize um, that person that referred me because guess what happens? It goes on their Facebook page as well. So then they're going to say, oh, I saw Mickey Duncan, <laughs> you know, thank Don for referring her these clients. Um, we have client appreciation days. We uh, do that about three times a year. We just had one last week. Um, and I got a lender and a title company uh, to sort of go in with me, but we rented an ice cream truck and we just had it out in, we, we did have to have it in a really large parking lot because they were still sort of practicing social distancing. Yeah. So um, we just rented an ice cream truck. We invited all of our past clients and we did tell them to bring their families because it was ice cream um we probably had about i don't know 80 90 people there That's um, awesome. yeah it, it was a great turnout and then we um we always give them a takeaway okay don't just have the event and just let them go off so we um i went to walmart i bought every ice cream scoop that they had they were 88 cents and then I went on Vistaprint and I just made these little cards that said, here's the scoop. When it comes that when it comes to the sweet deals in real estate, blah, blah, blah. And I just, you know, tied them onto the ice cream scooper and we gave them to everybody that was there. They Brilliant. loved that kind of stuff. So it cost it. you a fortune. <laughs> I know, right? I mean, you could have had a monogram, you could have done whatever you wanted to, but you know, a lot of people think you got to spend a lot of money to be successful. You know, she's like with real estate or with Facebook. I don't buy Facebook ads, never have. It's like, no, Facebook is free. You don't have to boost your ads or do anything like you can if you want to, but it's just not what we do. So um, we had a, um, a Mexican client appreciation day one time where we just served Mexican food and went to Walmart, bought every little spice pack they had that was 40 cents. And, um, taped a little card to it. It said, let's talk about real estate. <laughs> <laughs> you can do all kinds of stuff. So, um, but for those ideas, they, I did not come up with those ideas. So if you all will go, um, I think it's on Pinterest and just type in pop buys, um, for real estate. And it'll give you all kinds of stuff. So if you even want to say, you know, pop by for real estate July 4th, 
just type in whatever you want and it will just pull up all kinds of little ideas. We, um, last October, uh, my husband and I delivered uh, pumpkins. We just did this sort of, we pulled up and Blake would get out and he would run and set the pumpkin on the, um, on the porch. And we delivered about 50 pumpkins that just had, you know, a little tag on it. It said, we're thankful for you, blah, blah, blah. So they, that's just how we love on them. We stay in contact with them. We, um, I don't know if anybody is a part of send out cards. If you're not, I'd highly rec. Yes, I'd highly recommend it. Um, so you know when you're uh, and there's an app on your phone. So if you're out somewhere and it pops into your head, you're like, oh, I can do that right now. But you know, if somebody has a baby or somebody gets married or a birthday or a death in the family, no matter what it is, you can go right on there, create a card, and I have the one that is a card a day. So you can send a card every single day that's free. I think I pay $30 a month. Uh, they put the postage on it. Um, but like I sold a house to um, first time home buyers and they got a puppy. So they put a, they put a picture of their puppy on Facebook and I just screenshot it. And um, it, it, the dog's name was Daisy and I just picked a card that had a bunch of daisies on it. And I'm like, welcome home Daisy. And it was, they loved it. They, and those people remember that it's on their refrigerator. And so you just have to stay in front of them. You know, I'm going to, I'm going to jump in on a success story on send out cards. Um, uh, the mayor of Henderson, I, which is a sister city to Las Vegas. Here, yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, we've, we've known each other for a couple of years and, uh, her, her, uh, daughter had a baby and uh -huh. so did a send out cards showing, you know, the pregnancy, the, you know, the ultrasound and then the birth. And I send it to the, to the mayor. Yeah. We're, we're at a networking event, like within a week of that card arriving. And she was in a circle of about five or six people talking and she saw me walk across the room and she said, excuse me, left the conversation, came over. She starts tearing up. <laughs> like, she's like, oh my gosh, you know, my yeah. family members are all jealous. And I said, how many jealous family members yeah. do you have? <laughs> I said, I'll send five more. You can give them to them yeah. all. Right? Yeah. To your point, those little touches, like yes. your, you know, for the scoop, the sweet scoop. Yeah. Real <laughs> Let's talk, what was it? Let's talk about real estate. <laughs> I love it. I mean, <laughs> what, what, I, what I like is, you know, this is not, this is not fancy. Not like, rocket scientists. No, no, exactly. not at all. It, it, at the end of the day, what you're doing is you're having fun yeah. um, and you're thinking of people and, and you're yeah. stepping out. You know, there's people on this call like, oh, that's great. She's been at it for 14 years and, you know, she's got all these people and everything else. But like this could be done with 10, 15 people. Right. That's if right. You have 10 or 15 people out there that are a champion for your business. Like right. that they appreciate you, want to refer you. If each one of them is sent you one in a given That's year, right. somebody's yeah. going to send a couple, right? Yeah. Well, and if you do, if you are new, because we, um, we in with EXP, we mentor agents. So we have 25 in our group and a lot of them are brand new. So they don't have a bunch of people that they can do a client appreciation day for. However, you can do it for them and their family. You can do it for, you know, them and their friends. You say, hey, bring two people um, so that just that you're exposed. Uh, then that way, you know, when Joe's buddy comes and then when he thinks about real estate, he's going to think about you. So it doesn't necessarily just have to be your clients. Have them to bring people as well. And another thing we do that will help um, is once we have a closing, we uh, end their closing gift, which we always give, by the way, um, we put a little card in there that says, uh, when you get settled in, uh, we would love to host your housewarming party. Ooh. So then we have that catered. So we will give them an option. Do you want to do Mexican? Do you want to do barbecue? Um, you know, something that's sort of easy. Um, and then we, you do have to sort of set your parameters because we did have one one time said okay we got 150 people invited <laughs> to the party so you do have to say hey we'll host your party for 50 people or whatever and that goes a long way because then they have they open their house to all their family and friends and 
there they are. Then you're exposed to all of them. You're feeding them, whatever. And that has got us a lot of referrals as well. I, you know what? I love that idea. And, you know, I'm, I'm sitting here. I've got three pages of notes already. <laughs> 20 minutes in. Um, and I'm thinking, I'm like, well, who did I close recently that I need to call yeah. today? So, hey, we're doing a housewarming party at your house. Exactly. Right? And I just went on Vistaprint. I love Vistaprint. It's cheap. You can, the, and their quality is really good. And I just made this cute little card. Um, and I always just put it in their closing gift. Uh, so that when they open it, then they always call us back. Always. So they don't have to feed their friends. Who do you have them invite? Do you invite the neighbors in the new community or do you have them invite their friends in? Yeah, we don't say you can only invite people that's looking to buy a house. <laughs> <Yeah, so laughs> that would be too obvious. That you have to be subtle, right? <laughs> keep your realtor friends at home. Yeah. <laughs> um, so we just leave it up to them you know we just even so even if those people that show up are not looking to buy a house they know somebody sooner or later that will be and they'll say hey i remember mickey and blake you know did so and so's you know a housewarming party we always give them our card um we'll always have a takeaway you know don't just show up at the party make sure you show up with something um, like we did a Mexican for a uh, Mexican little buffet thing for one of them. And I bought these, um, these little boxes of red hots at the dollar store. I think they were like 12 for $2 and I made a little card. It said, let's talk about the hot deals in real estate. And I handed all those, all those people, those little boxes of red hots, you know? So you always have to give them a takeaway. Don't forget that. I love it. And, and, and <laughs> make it kind of corny fun. I, I yeah. love it. <laughs> So you mentioned earlier that you give closing gifts, right? So yep. is it different for each person or do you have yep. some standard? Okay. It's different. And uh, don't get me wrong. There's been numerous times I've got up and I'm like, oh my gosh, you know, so I have re-gifted a, lots of bottle of wine. <laughs> you know, I have wine, but I tell them because I personally don't know the difference between $8 or $80. So um, if I give them a bottle of wine that I have re-gifted, I always tell them that. I'm like, look, I am re-gifting you this wine. I don't know the difference between an $8 bottle of wine or an $80 bottle of wine, uh, but I want you to have it. Um, I give gift cards to like um, first time home buyers that I know is gonna have to go to the grocery store and buy groceries. Um, you know, if they buy a house that needs a little fixing up, I'll give them a Home Depot or a Lowe's gift card. Um, if it's a bachelor, um, a lot of times I'll do something personalized. That's always a hard one for me. It's like, I don't know what to get a bachelor. So I'll do a cutting board, um, you know, with their initial on it. Um, I have bought blankets and, you know, had a monogram. People love stuff like that. Um, so you really, you, you look at the client for who they are and you yes. say, that's what you're deciding. I, I yeah. love that. So today's closing, my, uh, my buyer is a, a, a little short elderly lady and everything in her house is real big. So I went to Old Time Pottery and bought her about five foot stools. <laughs> who like she a perfect for me. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, don't hurt yourself. So here's you some <laughs> foot stool, just stuff like that, you know, um, so you do have to personalize it. You, you know, you do want to look at that person and, um, you know, sort of say, what, what would she like? What would she appreciate? You want to give them something that somebody's going to say, oh my gosh, where did you get that? Oh, my realtor gave that to me. You know, Absolutely. we don't necessarily put our stuff on it, but we will say, um, you know, give them something that they can talk about. Yeah. And, and memorable. And it shows that you thought of them. All yes. right, so I'm, I'm shifting gears. You mentioned something about I will outwork you. I'm not better than you, but I will outwork you. Yeah. Personally, it's one of my favorite mantras. Yeah. I actually watched an interview of Will Smith like forever ago, and they talked about what his secret to success is, how he was able to you know, become such a box office hit. And he said, I've just yeah. outworked everybody else, right? Yeah. Your, your disposition is very happy, very sunny. Um, you know, I, I can conclude that you've got a wonderful life. Do you ever have a rough day? Oh, yeah. Um, I do, but you'll never know it. I like and that. And I've had, 
you know, my fair share of bull crap I just have, you know, but um, you just Watch learn that language to, now. You're getting way yeah, out. <laughs> that was watching it. Yeah. I'm kidding, of course. Yeah. Um, so we are keeping it real, right? Yep. So, um, but yeah, I do. I have to deal with stuff all the time. But you just, um, I always say you have to let it be a moment. Just process it. You know, don't sweep it under the rug but don't let it absorb your whole day. Just have a moment, get it out, write it down, deal with it later, but don't let it interfere with your daily business because you're going to lose money in the real estate world because our time is money. But, um, but yeah, it, I do have, I do have bad days, but like I said, you'll, you'll never know it. So the attitude is, don't let it consume you, right? right? Acknowledge it. I like how you said acknowledge it, right? Yeah. Don't, don't act like it doesn't exist because I, I always think those things are just going to keep festering and poking and until you they, they mushroom into something bigger, but you're right. not going to own you. So when you right. talk about outworking you, what, what, is that, what does that look like? Um, so we are pretty lucky that we're empty nesters. Um, so we it's can come and go as we please. Not everybody can. Um, but we, when somebody wants to go see a house, we never know how our day is going to unfold. Okay. We can look at the calendar and say, oh my gosh, we got a free weekend. And then I wake up um, at eight o'clock in the morning and check my phone. And it's like, can we see this house? Can we see that house? I want you to come over and assess our house, whatever. And we just always do it. You know, we, um, when I say we will outwork you, it's because we very rarely say no. So if somebody wants to see a house, I mean, we have dropped everything we're doing and we're going to go show the house. You know, we'll tell, like I was at the swimming pool on Memorial Day and somebody wanted to see a house. And I just said, I'm at the pool. You're going to have to take me like I am. But if, you, and I'd never met them before. I'm like, if you're okay with me coming look like I, I'm on my way. And so we, and that doesn't always happen. I do, now that I've been doing it for so long, just like last night, we're watching the movie and the guy texts me, he goes, hey, can you call me? I got a question about a house. And I'm like, can I call you in the morning? You know, so sometimes I sort of know those people like, okay, I'm not going to jump in the car and go show a house tonight at eight o'clock or 10 o'clock. So I'll call you in the morning. But um, we just try not to say no. We just try if, anytime anybody wants to see a house or got a question about a house, I'm on it. If, if somebody says, hey, I've got, I want to refer you a friend or whatever, I gave them your number, uh -uh. I'm like, send me their number. I'm not going to sit back and wait on them to call me. Absolutely. Give me their number. Do they text? That's usually what I'll ask because I'll talk the wallpaper off the wall if you, get, <laughs> if you get me on the phone. So I am a texter because of that. So Sometimes I'll text them and I'll say, hey, Linda, you know, Sue gave me your number. When's a good time for you to talk? And if they say, call me now, I'll call them. If they say, call me in the morning, I'll call them in the morning. I do not wait for them to call me. I love it. You know, I, I, I you know, you're a good shot of adrenaline in the <laughs> middle of a, a chaotic 2020. Um, <laughs> first thing I want to say is, number one, I appreciate how real you are. How I mean, just authentic all the way across the board. Thank you. Um, and I also appreciate you, you really making it simple for people to understand that, you know, the attitude, obviously, we can control. Your work ethic, obviously, you can control. I, I get in these conversations sometimes where people are like, oh, I'm working on balance. I'm working on balance. I'm like, you're broke. You can't yeah. afford <laughs> that, right? Yeah. Like, you've got to pay your dues, yes. get the money on your side, then have all this so, supposed balance. But right That's now, right. it's an opportunity to make money. So get yep. out there and get after it, regardless of what's going on in, in your city, with, regardless right. of what's going on, you know, otherwise. So right. I love this. Somebody just said we need to do a power 45 or a power 60 <laughs> instead of a power 30 uh, because of the number of pearls that you drop. So, <laughs> Nikki, I really, really appreciate you taking uh, the time to uh, share you. your thoughts with us. You've definitely uplifted my spirit and not only the – 25 or so people that are watching live right now, but all the people that will be watching on the playback. And we will definitely send you a copy of this interview. Feel free to do what you want with it, okay? Fabulous. Thank you so much for having me. All right, Mickey. Take care. Appreciate Thank you. Thank you. See ya.
Thank you. Bye. And can I just mention, it's really cool to see the client team together again like that. Yeah. Yeah. Huddled up, cozy. yeah. I'm not going to lie. I got a little tear from when I saw that. I wish I was with team. you guys. <laughs> I got a little jealous because I'm sure the breakfast is going to be good. Yeah, I mean, I'm only probably like seven minutes away from there. I could probably be there, you know, real quick just to, you know, give a few hugs. Hey, we're, we're doing a tour of Las Vegas today. We've got a big old van outside, taking a tour. So no breakfast, but we've got lunch coming. All right. All right. That is awesome. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's Power 30 call, and uh, we'll talk soon. See you later, Becky.